John Carter, a man transplanted to Mars, is a Civil War veteran who discovers a lush planet inhabited by 12-foot-tall barbarians. Finding himself a prisoner of these creatures, he escapes only to encounter a princess who is in desperate need of a savior. You may be the only one who can save us. The flick featuring John Carter, the heroic protagonist of Edgar Rice Burroughs' 11th volume Barsoom series, the film marked the centennial of the character's first appearance. Some people in the city were overjoyed at the latest 3D offering. Yeah, it was pretty good. Awesome. It's fine. It was good. I like the, the dialogue he says. Um, you're ugly but beautiful. That's the best. Just play along. Former Confederate captain John Carter, played by Taylor Kitsch, is mysteriously transported to Mars, Barsoom, where he becomes part of a conflict between the various nations of the planet, whose leaders include Tars Tarkas, played by William Dafoe, and Princess Deja Torres, played by Lennon Collins. Carter takes it upon himself to save Barsoom and his people from a growing threat. Pursue them to the Aeolian plane, then overtake them and capture the Red Woman alive. The one who jumps? Let's see what he's capable of. The film is largely based on a princess of Mars and a hero John Carter. In both the novel and the film, John Carter is a former American Civil War Confederate, army captain, who is mysteriously transported to Mars, which is known to its inhabitants as Barsoom. It mainly concentrates on science fiction lovers, but this science fiction flick did not impress all those who sampled it. In the course of his adventure there, Carter learns that the planet is dying from the loss of its atmosphere and water. Only a peaceful alliance of its intelligent but volatile inhabitants can save all the species of Barsoom from extinction. He sets out to achieve that goal. He battles alien warriors and computer-generated monsters while falling in love with the dark-haired human princess Deja Torres, played by Lennon Collins. John Carter has a great star cast with Taylor Kitsch, Lennon Collins, William Dafoe, Mark Strong and Thomas Hayden Church. Just play along. Visually, it's going to be incredible. We keep saying the Great White Ape scene is worth the price of admission alone. Release really the other one. The audience is going to come out not just falling in love with these characters, but having had the ride of their life. But despite the huge strong star cast, the director Andrew Stanton received thumbs down from the audience. Even the 3D technology failed to make a mark. The audience who have already been treated to the likes of Avatar may not have found much to enjoy in this movie. Those who came with high expectations were very disappointed and left midway. John Carter being one of the most anticipated movies this month saw a sizable audience turn out. Pursue them to the Aeolian plane, then overtake them and capture the Red Woman alive. Confusing. Uh, okay. One who jumps? Let's see what he's capable of. However, it failed to please the audiences largely and it looks like this was one more hype venture that is set to go to dust. But if you are someone who simply cannot resist science fiction fair, this might be the perfect way to spend your weekend.